Hi YouTube, this is Matt back with another sales video. Um, this is a sales update for the month of October. So this is my top 10 sales for October. Um, I'll tell you how much I paid for them. Obviously you'll see the profits. Um, just quickly before I do this, I'd just like to apologize for the lack of content at the minute on the channel. Um, really been struggling with car boots, especially with the weather. I've missed probably the last four or five car boots due to the weather, um, due to them being called off and that. Uh, so, yeah, but hoping hoping to get some more videos out there soon. Um, I do go to charity shops, but not quite as much as I would like to. Um, I also normally do well on local pickups and things with toy hauls and vintage toys and that, but there's just not been that much out there at the minute, not been that much coming my way, so... Unfortunately, I haven't really been able to do videos, but like I say, hopefully that will change for the better soon. And as soon as I get some decent stuff, you guys will be the first ones to see it. So, um, yeah, I'll just get straight into this then. So, this was number 10. It's a vintage Thundercats 1985 pillowcase. Um, when I picked this up, there was supposed to be like a single sheet, uh, like a bed sheet as well, but the, the lady couldn't find it. So I just took this. This was only a pound. Um, really rare now, these sort of things. Um, um, back in the day, you know, you would have got Masters of the Universe, A-Team, Thundercats, Ghostbusters, all that sort of stuff. But a lot of these go to collectors and... I go to a lot of toy fairs as well and you see these at the toy fairs people just open them out put them on the tables and then start putting their you know their toys and that on the table so it's a nice like display piece but yeah only a pound into 19 pound 40 so happy with that one always worth looking out for that sort of stuff um next one was this sealed media um blank mini discs uh, there was four in a pack i think i've got another two left um these was 75p each i can't remember if i bought two or four um may have been two actually it's been quite a while but yeah i've definitely got another one for sale um and these were 75p each i can remember that so into 1999 so yeah always worth looking out for that nice and easy to pack just put them in a jiffy bag send them straight off yeah happy with that one um the next one is this sega tails builder bear from sonic the hedgehog always worth looking out for the the sonic the hedgehog brand in builder bear and i think this one actually went through the gsp program um i think it went to the states yeah i think it went to america um yeah, so I'm happy with that one. This was 50 pence. I bought Sonic. I bought two Pokemon, I think. And Tails. Yeah, and they were 50p each. So, yeah, happy with that one. To 22.99. Next one was this Tamagotchi from Bandai 2004. A mini LCD game. These were quite popular in, I think maybe it was the mid 90s to late 90s, and then they stopped making them, and then that sort of had like reissues back out in the early 2000s and that. But this, yeah, this was actually a freebie. I bought some grandstand, um, like handheld vintage games from early 80s, I think 81, 82. They're in one of my um pickup videos. There was a Firefox one by Grandstand and there was a Scramble. Uh, got a really good price on those, made good profit on them. And the guy like had one of these little like baskets on the store just with, you know, like old McDonald's toys and nothing really valuable at all. Um, when I say old McDonald's toys, I don't mean like the Transformer McDonald's toys. Like those can get quite decent money. I just mean like, you know, the... The ones that you've seen a million, million times, just random McDonald's toys in there. Um, just had a little wonder through the box and then saw this at the bottom. How much fun is like, if you're taking those two, you know, chuck it in. So it's like, yeah, I'm happy with that. So I took a best offer on this, actually. I think it was something like 22 quid or 21 quid, something like that. But yeah, really happy with that one. 
um, from nothing basically so yeah and I think that went to the States as well yeah I'm sure this went to America so yeah on to the next one it's this cuddle chimp by um, fur reel um, if you see any of these you might already know it does actually come with like a little bottle like a little baby bottle um, in the shape of a banana if you've got that you're probably looking like an extra fiver on top maybe a little bit more I have seen them go for like 40 odd quid um, but yeah if you've got that it is a little bit more valuable this unfortunately didn't have that that little banana bottle but um, yeah still got a good price for it 29.99 from 3.99 I think that was from a British Heart Foundation charity shop yeah so happy with that one next was this vintage Sega lock on laser game um, it's a bit like um, like a laser quest sort of game you get two visors and two guns in one pack uh, and they were five quid from a charity shop I actually got another one of these as well um, so yeah I bought two sets for five pound each um, the other one's got a little bit of battery corrosion this one was fine there was no damage at, at all tried batteries in it was playing it around the house having a bit of fun with it um, this one worked fine the other one um, it needs a bit more cleaning out uh, but I did notice it in the charity shop don't be afraid you know when you're in the charity shop and you see any electronical games any LCD games any um, anything like that um, don't be afraid to just open them up inside the charity shop a lot of people just buy them take them home um, find out that they're damaged and they're like oh, it's a charity shop I can't really take it back you know feel a bit embarrassed or whatnot um, but just don't be afraid I, these were all taped up inside the charity shop I just pulled the keys out cut the cellar tape opened them up straight up in the charity shop and checked all the battery compartments out um, it's it's just worth it you know it just saves going home and with them being damaged but I, I knew I was taking a chance with the one but at five pound each I was happy to buy that um, especially getting 45.99 for this one so yes yeah, it's, it's decent one to look out for oh and another thing about this I'm not sure if you can see actually um, let's see yeah it's actually got the price there from when they were bought originally from Harrods uh, 59.95 so you know they were quite expensive back in the day those were I think these were early 90s so yeah 59.95 back in the day and I got them for five quid each so happy with that uh, next one were these Nike Air Force ones these are actually the first Air Force ones trainers I've picked up I see a lot of people do well with them um, and the high top ones as well I think you can get a little bit more money for those but yeah these these were three quid at the car boot um, I couldn't believe they were actually still there I'm saying that I don't think the guy had put them out there long but yeah as soon as I saw them just went straight over and asked him how much three quid yep yeah, I'll have those um, yeah they're quite clean as well I think I don't think that photo actually does it justice they were they were quite clean to be fair um, right these were I think I bought six of these um, yeah these are sealed from 1991 so it's really hard to find now they were sealed um, World Wrestling Federation WWF Superstar cards and that's a full set of 150 when these were first out they were like in those you know like blind blind packets basically like normal sticker collection card collection where you go in the shop you pay I don't know what it was back then 10p 20p for a pack of cards and you get like five or six in there or something you've got to collect the set but I think after like the first year maybe or the first six months or something they started bringing them out in these packs which is a full set in one pack um, I actually had to pay about I think these were about 20 quid each and I bought six of them um, yeah and I've been selling them for like 49.99 so decent bit of profit in them 
I've actually kept one pack back for myself. So I think I'm going to do a video. Um, I'm going to cut it open. Yeah, fresh from 1991. I'm going to um, rip it open, open the box up and just go through them and see what them like for uh, nostalgia purposes because I, I actually had this set as a kid. I can remember buying the packets and opening them up myself back in the day but um, I never had a full set and they just got lost through time so I will be doing like an unboxing video of one of those cutting it open and um, yeah a bit of blast from the past and have a look at some of the old WWF cards um, so if that's something you're interested in just keep an eye on the channel uh, the next one was these Sonic the Hedgehog 4 figures they were like um they were bendable figures. Uh, you got Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, and Shadow. I paid six ninety nine for these each, um, and I took a best offer. I had them listed quite high for eighty nine ninety nine. Um, I'm not sure if I took an offer of seventy or seventy two, something like that. It was around that sort of price anyway, so it got a decent price for them. Um, yeah, so I think I've got one set left, but I haven't got Shadow. So i just got Sonic, Tails and Knuckles. Uh, Shadow's quite hard to find. So yeah, but happy with that from 6 99 each. Sold the 4 for, I think it was 72 74 something like that. So happy with that. And the last one was this Olympus Mew 2 Zoom. 115 uh, camera this is on one of my haul videos picked this up from a car boot um for two quid uh been to loads of car boots you always see the cameras you know you always see cameras at car boots um and sometimes you know they're in the little cases and that and you walk past them hoping they're going to be an olympus mew or some other alternative that's worth a lot of money and I never find any, never find any. Um, and that many times I pick up the little bags, opening them up. Because sometimes you come across them, the little camera bags, they're just, um, they haven't got any names on them. They're just blank. And then you opening them up, hoping it's going to be an Olympus. I know this one has got the actual Olympus case, but it was face down. And I knew it was one as soon as I picked it up as before I even turned it over and saw the Olympus sign, you can just tell by the weight of these. They're a little bit more weighty than just a normal, cheaper camera. And I picked it up and I just thought, this is one, it's gotta be. Turned it over, Olympus, I thought it's gotta be Mew. I opened it up and it was. And um, really, really um, good quality as well. I think there was a tiny little scuff somewhere on, on the camera somewhere. Uh, where was it? Yeah, I think it was here. That's it. Just there. Just that tiny, tiny little scuff there. Apart from that, immaculate. Everything was working fine. Um, zoom was working fine. It was all clean. Got the case with it as well, so it's always nice. Yeah, so from £2 to 99.99. So, yeah, very happy with that one. Um, so, yeah, that's my top 10 sales for the month of October. Um so yeah just stay tuned on the channel thanks again guys for watching um thanks for staying with me really sorry about the lack of content lately that's going to change soon hoping um keeping positive hoping to get some more hauls i know we're coming to the end of year but there's still time for it especially with some of the pickups that i'll get sometimes toys and uh, games and things like that just gotta try and get them for the right price and not just throw money away you know just to try and sell something it's got to got to be able to make it work as well um but yeah thanks again for watching um if this is the first time you have saw one of my videos please take a look at the other videos um if you like them please subscribe or drop me a comment i'll always answer answer the comments on there and yeah thanks again for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one bye